Hi, I'm Aaron Agent. I'm a senior tech player for Blind Squirrel Games. We do work for hire for AAA companies, for companies like 2K and others throughout uh, Europe and Asia as well. And I've also worked in film on movies like War for Planet of the Apes and Right Experiences. And well, we want to shows. begin with trends. And this one is going to be an open-ended kind of thing because the trends, that could come from any kind of, of um, aspect of the industry, which including technology, uh, regulations, um, new innovative things within the field, software um, stylization, the design stylizations, um, hiring trends, different ways those are going. So I'm going to just throw it out and we'll we'll start off with, um, I'm going to start with Aaron, I'm going to start with you. And uh, talk to us about in, in your path, your career path, and where you are now, what are the trends that you're seeing moving forward in uh, being prepared to take on technology and, and uh, this field moving um, moving ahead over the next five years? Well, I think games like any technology-centric industry is always advancing and it's important for students as well as current industry professionals to always be looking to whatever resources they have available in order to have knowledge about the newest techniques and software. Um, this includes anything from attending talks to just any sort of internet resource that you can find. Um, game engine technology is advancing in new ways that we wouldn't have known decades ago. Final pixels were used in movies like Rogue One and they're used for live action compositing on uh, advertisements and used for rendering children's shows, animated shows, and so game engine, game engine technology is rapidly advancing and it's sort of changing from blowing the line between film and interactive media in general and it's something where you have to stay on top of the trends in terms of content creation because it's always evolving what's the easiest way to create the content and bridge the gap between so I would advise things like the Game Developers Conference is a great way to stay on top of industry trends as well as just YouTube has great information in terms of software. There are new means of creating textures specific to games. The Substance Pack is great. There are new procedural content creation packages like Houdini. Um, but I'd say seeking out industry professionals who are willing to give you tips or watching talks on YouTube or Twitch or wherever they may be, I'd say that it's important for anyone who's in the industry to seek out new techniques and um, just constantly be looking forward to see what the industry may hold because, like I said, it can be anything from game engine technology being used on film to ads to games as well. So it's sort of a diverse field, even more so than it may seem. The, the end users with the, the eSports that we've seen, the uh, UCI set up that whole new system within UCI where the gaming now is becoming a, um, a profession, you know, a professional gamer. Um, what kind of impact is that doing on, say, the need for content or the, the volume of content that needs to be developed? Where do you see that going? I'd say that games tend to uh, seek out whatever audience that they may have at the time. And I think the esports is definitely becoming larger and larger, and so that affects the way a game decides to market itself. And so a particular game may seek to be more esports oriented, and so they have to make decisions based upon matching a high talent tier and the audience of that with, that goes with that streamers and people on Twitch and esports uh, match that with the <coughs> talent tiers which are appropriate for the more casual audience. So I'd say that there's a lot of diversity and just sort of makes the process of determining marketing and your audience a bit more complex but also adds a, uh, a lot more uh, availability to people who may not have time to play the games, but just want to enjoy a high level of skill in a game or enjoy watching competitive nature of things they might not regularly experience.